guys, welcome back. This is Shauna with Making Everyday Magic. Um, a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that we have Body Worlds coming um, to Houston. And so because of that, I am just going to full stop on my science plan and do something else. So I figured uh, I would go ahead and just chat this out with you guys. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so here's what we're doing, guys. We are gonna go see Body Worlds. And I am thinking that there could not possibly be a better time to take the field trip and look inside the human body than on Halloween. So Halloween is coming up. It is on a Saturday this year, which is awesome. Today is October 9th. If I look at the calendar, I have three full weeks of schooling that I could get in before we actually go and see the bodies at Body Worlds if we do it like in planning. Now I am sure that I am going to post the video of that over on my sister channel. So please go check out our family travel channel right up here at Suitcase Princess. We do all kinds of fun and crazy things with the kids. We try to incorporate as much education as we can pretty much every chance we can. And, uh, you know, we talk a lot about Disney because we love Disney. You guys may know, I've talked about this in previous video videos, the importance of getting memberships and doing things with your kids as part of your homeschool, you know, field trips, museums, all these fun things, because it really can enhance what you're learning. And we've done that on several occasions, going to the garden center when we're learning about parts of a plant. Uh, going to the zoo when we're talking about habitats. I really feel like this all gives your homeschooling something that traditional public schooling can't. And yes, they take field trips, but it's rare. Whereas you being homeschool parents have the opportunity to really make these lessons and teaching stick by making it kind of a multifaceted learning approach. You know, you can teach it at home, but then also go see it in the real world. And that is invaluable. So when we found out that Body Worlds is coming to our, our local science museum, we knew one, Paul and I have seen it, it's amazing. Two, what a fantastic thing to get to take the girls to see and do, but to give them a little bit of that uh, knowledge, right? The insides of our body, but to be able to take them almost immediately to show them the physical pieces that are real. These are not fakes. This is not a plastic mold. Uh, and to get to show them what's inside their bodies. Not just that, we do have some books that came in our curriculum kit. This was in Amelia's and this was in Maryland's and they've been asking a bunch of questions about them. And if you guys remember my science plan that I kind of came up with, I'll right up here. Um, there is not actually a section about human body. Uh, the girls have been asking questions about it and wanting to use some of these books. So I figure what better time to hard stop, take a left turn, and we're going to learn about the human body. We've got three weeks until Body Worlds comes. And so I've been trying to map out a plan and I was just going to take you guys along with my planning process here. Okay, so I started at lunch with the hubs and I've got three weeks. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do like body parts, like what your body needs, basic body parts, and then how best to care for the health of your body on week one. Week two, I'm thinking we're going to go through like systems of the body and do a different system for the five days and <laughs> not trying to get into that kind of schooling. So I'm keeping it simple, y'all. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do skeletal, muscular, respiratory, and cardiovascular as one, the nervous system, and then the digestive system. Because I mean, everybody wants to talk about poop, right? Like, sure. Okay. So that'll be week two. And then week three, I'm thinking we can go over the organs and what they do, uh, the purposes that they serve. And then I realized, guys, I have a, um, a brain mold because we are big Halloween people. And so I think I need to make a jello brain <laughs> because yay, you're homeschool. Um, okay, so here's some of my plans. And going along with that, we have... In what your preschooler needs to know that came in our pre-K curriculum kit, there's a whole section about what your body needs. Humans are special animals. 
uh, different parts of the bodies. So I'm super excited. We are gonna do all of this and I will flip you around and show you a little bit more in depth flip through. And then I also am gonna pop back on. Um, you guys know I love to use uh, Schoolhouse Rock and Magic School Bus. So I'm gonna find some of those things that I can get to go along with this topic. And I'm so excited. I can't believe that this is how we get to school. It's really exciting. So I will bring you along for as much of this planning as I possibly can. So far, the amount of time and energy I've invested in this is about three minutes. So other than that, I'm gonna bring you along when I uh, just Google and write it down. And that's how we're gonna plan this because it really is or really can be that simple. It is Sunday afternoon and I'm just gonna take a minute and sit down and plan out our next three weeks of science. You can see it took about 10 minutes to go ahead and plan out the next three weeks of our science. I am all for utilizing what I have, which is some of those awesome books that came in our kits and utilizing the things that are coming up, which is the Body Worlds exhibit. We're so excited. So it wasn't in our original plan, but it seems really exciting. Um, took us about, took me about 10 minutes to plan the next three weeks and it will end with our field trip to HMNS to see the Body Worlds exhibit, which would be super fun. Um, as you saw, I use uh, the books we have that were included in our kits, which I will be sure to link below. Also used, um, you know, the list of episodes for Magic School Bus, Magic School Bus Rides Again, and of course, classic Schoolhouse Rock. Also planning to use some of our Halloween decorations because what better way to show a skeleton than with the skeleton and I just might have a, uh, a brain jello mold. If you found any of this, I hope very inspiring to show you how to kind of break out of the mold, get out a little bit, get creative with your lesson planning. Um, and also that it can be uh, really quick, really easy. I hope that this gave you uh, just a jumping off point to do some more fun stuff in your own house. Uh, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you found any of this entertaining or informative today. Um, I hope it gives you just a little bit of motivation to do some of those unconventional learning things that do get you out of the house, that get you um, applying some kind of other strategies to your homeschooling. It's not just book work and at home. Um, so if you found any of this helpful, entertaining or informative, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe. Please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you soon.